Hi, it's day three or four of this journey. I'm not so sure. I couldn't work much this weekend, unfortunately. Uh, but I actually have the uh, the power and fire, the PA here, turned on, powered on. And I'm, what I'm trying to get at this point, I didn't disassemble anything else yet. But what I'm trying to get at this point is to see if I had at least a, uh, a little bit of functionality. And actually, I think I got it uh, now. Uh, because it occurred to me, with the help of the service manual, <laughs> it actually occurred to me one important thing. Instead of using loudspeakers, which were really no sound whatsoever, and I was also a little bit afraid if the amplifier went haywire somehow, that it would actually just throw the full power at the loudspeakers, and it would blow these all loudspeakers, because this amplifier is 130 watts, it's extremely, it's 120 watts extremely powerful so one thing that I was actually a little bit of afraid so I disconnected the loudspeakers uh, just so I wouldn't have any trouble with that but I decided to use the phones the headphones so I actually disconnected the entire loudspeakers but I'm using the phones to see if there's anything any kind of sound coming through it and I think I actually made progress in that investigation because I can actually hear sound in it and I even uh, have, let me just put it in here. So I put two sources just to compare, you know, input sources. Try to, try to get rid of problems, perhaps cabling or, 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 or uh, bad in volume uh, intensity on the output. I was still using my, my, my trusty <laughs> CD disk man. And I still have, I have another source signal source there which is a the, the roland sound canvas which is my one of my musical instruments here so anyways sound sources i was trying to cover all my bases so the important bit is that i actually was able to get something let me see if it's going to start yeah let me see here I'm not sure if it's going to be able to to hear that I think you can hear that, right? It is still... Put it back. It is still very low, very low in intensity, and there's a lot of distortion in it. And also the volume control is at the maximum. So it's a, definitely it's something out of this world. But I'm at the maximum here. But you can even see here on the, on the, on the VU meters, right? They're, they're bouncing here. And it's interesting is that even the balance is not working very well in one way. It, the sound, you can clearly see the sound going one way, but not on the other. So there's some really real problem on the signal path, which is not really amplifying the signal uh, all the way to, of course, the, lo the speaker. So you could actually hear nicely, but it's amplifying just enough to be heard on the, on the, on the, on the headphones. So it, it's good. This is actually a good thing. Uh, obviously, I, I need to find the, where the problem is on the on the signal path that is not being amplified. But on the other hand, I actually have uh, a consistent or a decent signal path, which the signal is actually going all the way down to the to the output. And actually, with the help of the service menu, and you can tell here at the back <laughs> the schematics diagram, I actually have here that the the phono output. The, sorry. The, the output of the phones is this one. Yes, there's the speakers and there's the phones here. It actually goes all the way through the signal path, all the end, all through the end, or almost at the end. So this is actually a, uh, a very, a very, uh, very good news for the amplifier overall. So it seems that there's things that are actually integral on the signal path. So anyways, that's what I wanted to say. And of course I tested the different uh, inputs and all that and everything seems the same. So it's a definitely a problem, not with the preamp or the switching board, but uh, ahead on the, on, the, on the signal path. So at this point, I'm confident to start actually disassembling and trying to investigate uh, deeper uh, what could be the root cause and start replacing capacitors, which that's probably where the, pro the problem lies. This capacitor, this, this system is very old. It works extremely really hot and so I, I, I can't imagine that these capacitors are any good anymore. Oh yeah, 
progress. I'm, I'm happy with this progress, despite it was not much. But anyways, I'll have to, to continue this in another day. See you.